we're gonna be taking a look at the HTC Evo 4G. Um, I made a video about rooting the HTC Evo on Froyo, but uh, people complained about the audio, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one, and uh, hopefully this will be better. Um, if you're on Windows, the first thing you need to do is go to the Unrevoked page, and the details will be in the or the downloads will be in the details. You need to go to the Unrevoked page and download the drivers for Windows. Okay, and also the unrevoked package. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is power down our phone. Okay, and push power. You hear any kids in the background? Those are my kids making noise. Surprise you pay for a tutorial. <laughs> Alright, now you're going to uh, push volume down and power back on the device. Alright, it's going to scan. Don't push any buttons. Just let it do what it's going to do. Alright, go down to... You can go down to H-boot on the bottom and hit power. Okay, and then plug in your USB. Okay, now it says USB plug at the top. Um, can't really see, but it says it right here at the top, USB plug. Once it says that, you're going to go to control panel. And then uh, you're going to go to device manager. And this is for Windows users only. If... This is to install the drivers. If you don't, if you're on Macintosh, you don't have to install the drivers. Okay, up here it says Android phone. All right, and you can drop down, and it usually say if you got uh, ADB uh, interface loaded, then you can right click on it and you can update the driver. Okay, but and that I'll show you exactly how to do that. You right click, update driver, and browse my computer. And then you hit browse right here and browse to where it's at. Mine's already loaded. And then push next. See, mine says the best driver for your software is already installed. Okay, because I already got these drivers installed. But this is what you need to do. And once you're done, it will tell you uh, drivers are updated. And you'll get a underneath the Android. Underneath the. Android phone it will say Android bootloader interface that's how you know you will have your driver successfully installed on your phone okay just read up in the pages too I mean I'm showing you guys how easy it is but just read up and you'll be able to follow it okay we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna uh, we're gonna actually reboot our phone Okay, so reboot your phone from um, the go to fast boot and it'll uh, it'll let you reboot on your phone. Okay, now once you're back on your phone again, okay, on the stock Evo, you're going to go to your computer, wherever you have the unrevoked um, application at, okay, it says read flash package, you're going to double click on it, run.
Okay, mine says it's. Okay, go to your phone. Mine's plugged in, but I need to go to the phone. Settings, applications, development, and then click US debugging. Okay, click OK. Okay, click OK on here, and then unrevoked is going to do the rest. It's rebooting right now. It's saying rebooting. Right here, it's going to be rebooting. Really, here, you don't have to do hardly anything, okay, until the bootloader starts. It says, when bootloader starts, press volume down to HBoot USB, then press power. So, we're going to go back here again, go down four, and press power and it's doing its thing right now waiting for a reboot I'm switching back and forth so you can kind of see what, this really doesn't do anything, but down here on the bottom, it's giving you directions, so if you read down at the bottom, where it says waiting for reboot, it will tell you what to do, or if you're supposed to do anything on your phone, okay, and then, you, you know, uh, the phone is working by itself, really the only thing you have to do is, when you go into the bootloader, you just, um, push H, um, that H boot USB. That's it. Other than that, it does all the work itself. Okay, phone has restarted again. It's rebooting. Now it says on the unrevoked, it says when bootloader starts, press volume down to H boot USB, then press power. Make sure drivers are installed. Okay, so gonna go down again to the bottom one and press H boot USB hit power and now it's doing its thing okay it's gonna reboot the phone again So the phone is rebooting. Hi, Dada. Hi. The only thing you have to do really is just look on the bottom of the unrevoked thing when you run it, and it will give you directions. It's really simple. It's not as hard as people are making it out to be. If you follow directions, it would be no problem. Okay, it's rebooting into recovery right now. It says on unrevoked, rebooting into recovery. And in recovery, you don't touch anything. It's going to do everything for you. This is the third time I've rooted my phone in the last day and a half. So, I know it works. It's pretty easy. Sorry about the kids in the background. Hey, I got three of them. They're going to make noise. Ain't no way to stop it. Okay, up here, it says, I don't know how well you can see it. It says, done on there. So, that's done. This is done. It's going to reboot, and we're finished. It's rooted that easy. You know, it doesn't take long to do it all. Um, basically, as long as you got the drivers installed, and you don't install them on your computer. You put the folder of the drivers on your computer somewhere, and then when you're in HBoot, in the bootloader, you install the drivers on your phone that way. But other than that, you just follow the unrevoked three directions. It's pretty simple. This, like I said, this is the uh, the fourth time I've done this. Or, excuse me, third time.
okay charge only and we got root okay uh i'll go in here and we'll see the super user icon right there okay uh, that's really the only way to tell right away you know you can download wi-fi uh tether or titanium backup or something like that but if you see super user right there then you know you got root so this is root on android 2.2 and we can show you right here in the android 2.2 and we got we attained root so i hope everybody uh follows the directions and i hope the audio is better on this for you sorry about the last video i'm out hit me in the comments for any questions